Okay. I wish we had something like this back home. Not my favorite. <laughs> it's really, really good. I would totally recommend it. If you're gonna try one dish, try this. Come to check out the little food market. So cool coming behind the scene and making up all the different stuff. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Sri Lanka. We've currently come down to Colombo. It's about like an hour and a half from Nengombo and we're gonna be doing a street food tour here in the city. It's currently like almost six o'clock so the markets are really loud and noisy. There's a lot of locals out which is a really cool experience. But yeah, let's go for a walk. Ready guys, it's really noisy at the moment because we're in the heart of the city right next to the train station so I hope you can hear me but our first stop on our food tour is we've actually come to some of these street vendors just on the side because the train systems here in Sri Lanka are quite popular to get around the country for very cheap a lot of the local Sri Lankans will stop here to grab a snack or grab their lunch before jumping onto the train so we're gonna stop here and have a snack with the locals alrighty so the first dish we're trying is called hoppers and then they get served with sambal so we've got three different types here we have like a dried one with a lot of chili coconuts and Maldivian fish and then we have one that's more like sweet or like a chutney and then we have a dal and then these are the hoppers here and what you basically do is break some off and then dip it into the different types of dipping sauces so Oh, yeah. They're really good. Food. Really good snack food. And we were told these are gluten free as well. So it's really interesting at the front here, it's all really crispy as Jess was grabbing, but then as you wake, make your way towards the middle, it's like quite doughy in the middle there. I see, I'm seeing it as like a treat at the end, but wow. Mm. <laughs> Spicy? Spicy, yeah. That's a really good chutney with the punch. Wow. <laughs> Another way that you can have hoppers is actually with an egg cracked in the middle of it. I suppose you can have it for breakfast or any time of the day. So to top it all off, we have some ginger, some black tea and some sugar. This is the local tea. But... <laughs> That is such sweet tea, wow. Cheer tea. Woo! Woo! Cheers to So something really unique about these markets is that these used to actually be floating markets. So before the English came, this was all water. Is it good? So we're trying tapioca porridge and it's basically made from tapioca, mung beans, cardamom and a couple other spices and um, it's like a really thick dessert drink I guess. It's hot. <laughs> No. Not my favorite. <laughs> you try it. I'm not a big tapioca person. What is tapioca? Is it a spice? Tapioca, it's like a. I don't know. <laughs> Do you like it? It's like a hot, sweet porridge. Maybe it's the beans that are weird. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> also, I love the Dora the Explorer cup. <laughs> Currently walking through the local fresh market and wow, it's just so different to what we are used to back home. Like when we go to a grocery store compared to Sri Lanka's grocery store, I mean, wow. I wish we had something like this back home. I mean, we literally just walk past some potatoes and some onions. Just give them your money, go on your way. It's so authentic and so cool to walk through and experience, especially at this time of night, like six o'clock. Everyone's done work for the day. They need to get their veggies for their meals for tonight. So today we'll be trying this. So we just went to this local snack store and he said that if anyone's wanting snacks, they always go to these stores and it's basically like fried wheat. Whoa. It's basically fried 
wheat covered in garlic. So I guess they're like a Sri Lankan chip. Crunchy, garlicky, yummy. So like when we jump on our train ride, is this like the perfect snack? Yeah, it's really good. Try it. They're like Moorish. You just want to keep eating them, they're really good. Not bad. So we've just come to a little snack shop which is literally just this little room at the back of this like restaurant where they prepare everything. There's a whole bunch of different snacks, samosas, we've gone for a bit of a fish stick. It's like fish wrapped in dough. Mm. There's like curry sauces in there as well, so it's like a fish curry paste. Mm. Good snack. Oh, thank you. So we're trying Faluda. It's got like... Rose water, fresh milk, ice cream, tapioca, and jelly. Oh, it's like fruit jelly. Do you drink it? How's the tapioca? It's nice. Yeah, it tastes like um, kind of like Turkish delight. How does it? Because it has the yeah, it tastes like rose water is like the main flavor. It's like a rose water bubble tea because it has the little jellies in it. So we just walked to one of our final stops on this food tour. We're actually alongside the seaside, so the ocean is just there. And there is some street vendors, so it's just street market food. Some people just have some of their goods just out of Tuk Tuk's, but we've actually just come to this little food court here. It's so cool, like I'd love something like this in Australia, where it's just food vendor after food vendor. And yeah, let's go find out what we're gonna try. I think this crossed its seafood, because we're on the ocean. Alrighty guys, so we're ending the night at this little local street food place right near the water and we are trying kotu and it's basically roti which is like a meal here in Sri Lanka and they cut it all up so this one is full of seafood. So this is the roti here and yeah, then when they cut is, this up. This is, this is parada that's kotu roti. And then that's when they cut it up. Come to check out the little food market. So cool coming behind and seeing them making up all the different stuff. There's so many different foods here you can get. Wow, that seafood looks good. So this is when, so it goes from Roddy, puts it in with everything in here, and then he cuts it up just there. Already we're gonna mix with tomato sauce and tomato sauce. Oh, nice. Oh, so that's soy sauce and tomato sauce. And he put it in there. This is spices. We're gonna mix it, chili powder, yeah, and some spices. Okay. And put it in there. Oh, nice. Pepper yeah, I can masala. taste the yeah. salt. Oh, cool. Mm. It kind of tastes like spicy pastry. Mix That's how it looks like all mixed up and stuff. This is like probably my favorite meal here in Sri Lanka. It's really, really good. I'll totally recommend it. If you're gonna try one dish, try this kotu. It's really good. You can see it like all over Sri Lanka as well. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that little taste of Sri Lanka and you now know what to kind of eat when you come here. But our Sri Lankan adventure is literally just beginning. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe because so many adventures are coming your way. See you guys next time. So we just pulled over the bus to this street side food court. Some people are calling it the eighth wonder of the world. And this is like the thing that we've been wanting to see the most. We 